Hey guys, Ian, the Master of Pieces here. I'm an eBay reseller, and this is part two of my mega boot sale and charity shop haul video. Now, if you haven't watched part one, jump over and watch that first. But if you've already watched that one, let's get on with part two. Welcome back to part two guys. Now we already discussed in part one that I'm just stocking up. I'm buying loads of stuff because I'm getting ready for Christmas. I've got a fair bit of spare room here anyway so I might as well fill it and sales are going pretty well. So in this video we're going to cover my charity shop pickups. We're going to run through a few sales and then we're going to go through a second boot sale I went to on Sunday. So the charity shops I haven't been in for a while actually. And when I say a while, I mean about two weeks, which feels like a long time for me. And it's because I've been doing well at the boot sales and I've just been listing those and that's been carrying me through the week. But I decided to pop in and I was glad I did because, I mean, this could already be my find of the whole video. Just because it's got such a nostalgic um, like memory for me. This is Domino Rally and I had this back in the day. I had this exact same one because I can remember that kind of starting piece there. I can remember this rocket and I can remember this being an absolute pain because you'd set up most of the dominoes and then, you know, you'd almost be finished and then some would just go at the other end and then they'd all go down. And you'd spend hours trying to just put them back up. But anyway, I spent three quid on this, which is a bargain resale value, 15 pounds plus postage, maybe more. I'll have to see if it's all complete, uh, but I'll be keeping hold of this one. Um, I'm going to wait till my boys are a bit older and we're going to have loads of fun doing that together. So... I mean, just that pickup, right, reminded me of why I like to go to charity shops and it's not all about boot sales. And I did find some other good bits. I've got a bag of jigsaws down here. I won't bother showing you those because you've seen tons of them. Um, but I found a nice pair of shoes, actually. These were only three pounds. Now, these are Adidas hockey shoes. They're a decent-ish size. UK, well, not decent-ish. They're good size, UK nine and a half. But they are missing that kind of inside insole bit there for three quid i'm not gonna you know moan about that and resale value i'll be looking at what 10 11 pounds maybe a little bit more plus postage so yeah solid not not the most money in the world but i'm gonna take it i actually went out the back of the um back of the charity shop as well because i hadn't been in there for so long they were like ian just cut, cut, come on in come and have a look at the back and i picked up a little playmobile Police car, that was 50p, you know, I haven't even looked it up, that'll go into a bundle of stuff. But I did see a couple of board games and I took a gamble on because she said I could have them for a pound each. Basically, they've got a fair few out, out the back, so they wanted to clear them out. So I found a Labyrinth game and I've never heard of Labyrinth, but what attracted me, right, was it's got Ravensburg on the side. So I know them from um, Jigsaws. Labyrinth, Lord of the Rings version. Thought it would be a pretty good one. It's not really. I'd steer clear of this Labyrinth. Don't know if it's complete. Probably isn't, to be honest. But I paid a pound just to do a bit of research and learn about it. It might get eight or nine quid plus postage, perhaps. And actually, I did find another Labyrinth game. This one perhaps looks a bit more original. I don't know. I haven't done the research into it yet. But this was a pound. Um, I say it's original because it hasn't got a theme. Just Labyrinth. Again, Ravensburger on the side. I will check if all of that's complete. But I'd imagine that'll be similar price. Eight, nine quid plus postage. Something like that. And then I found this. And we opened this up together out the back of the charity shop actually. We've got Simpsons Cluedo. And the reason we opened it up was just to have a quick look to see if all the pieces were there. And unfortunately it looks like a lot of them are missing. So I've got the board. But we've got some little pieces here. And yeah, I don't think they're all complete. So she sold that to me for 50 pence. You know, I was going to take it. I'm sure I could sell what pieces are in there for more than 50 pence. Right. On to the, well, no, not onto the good stuff because I found that as well. And she gave me that one for free. This is PsyOps for PlayStation 2. Uh, what's it called? Midnight Conspiracy, I'm guessing. The sticker's over the top. That was only worth about three or four quid. Right. Now we're on to the good stuff. And this is what attracted me. Actually, when I went out the back, I saw these. So, um, yeah, I didn't mind picking up a few lower value things because I wanted to get these. 
These are some old school Nike Total 90s. Now I used to have a pair of these back in the day when they first come out. Now these aren't the most expensive ones, you know, the more expensive ones have got a more unique and interesting stud pattern. That's just got your basic six stud screw in. But even so, she was gonna throw these out. And the reason she was gonna throw these out, right, is because they don't have that insole bit. Now I don't know why she, she's so precious about that insole bit. If she'd thrown those out, that would have been a crying shame. And I will be looking for at least £30 plus postage for those, even without the insult. And then as I was leaving the charity shop, she actually said, Ian, I'm surprised you didn't, you weren't interested in these. And she pointed to the shop window and I was like, well, I, I didn't actually see anything in the shop window. Um, but I'm glad I did. And I'm glad I went outside and I looked inside. Uh, looked inside the window because I found these three Star Trek boxed figures. Now these are from 2002. We have got Sulu, and you can see there's the, like the old Forbidden Planet sticker on there, 11.99. That one there, that is che Chekhov, 11.99, and that one is Lieutenant. Uhura. I'm not a Trekkie. I don't know much about Star Trek at all. But I paid six pounds each um, because resale value, they're brand new and sealed. Um, 20 to 40 pounds plus postage each. Worth a gamble, isn't it? And also, I found this one for two pound fifty. It is a Eagle Moss. I'm get. It's one of those Star Trek. Whatever one of the Star Treks that is offered, yeah, it's one of those. But resale value for that is going to be about £14 plus postage. So that was really cool. And actually, right by the till, picked up a pair of Crocs as well. I missed them first time round. They were only £2.50. And she came out the, the back as I was leaving and gave me this Harry Potter for 30p. So, nice charity shop haul. Really, really enjoyed that one. And it was good to be back in the charity shops. Right, I've got tons of stuff to show you from the boot sale next. So I'm going to pack all of this away. I'm going to get the boot sale stuff out. While I do that, let's run through a few sales. A really low value sale here, but it did only take a week to sell. I picked this Casio calculator up from the boot sale for a pound and it has sold for four pounds plus postage. And we've sold an Xbox 360 game. What we've got here is Street Fighter X Tekken. And that one there has sold for seven pound 50 plus postage. Next up, we have sold General Grievous's General Grievous's off of Star Wars. His mask. This has got buttons that shouts out loads of random wild phrases. It does have the earpiece missing there, though. But I paid what pound, pound fifty in the charity shop, and that one has sold for eleven pound fifty plus postage. And we saw Maui. Here he is. I only picked this up off Marketplace in the middle of the week. What was that three, four days ago? So I paid £10 for him and he has sold for £40 all in. What an absolute monster. Batman Trilogy DVD set. Look at that for cover art. That is awesome, isn't it? That sold for £6 plus postage. Now let me take you through a couple of clothing sales. First step, I sold this zip-up blue Adidas jacket. It is a size small and I paid three or four pounds, something like that, in the charity shop. Now look, it didn't do as well as I was hoping it would. It went for 14 pounds all in, and it's been up for about a month. So yeah, wasn't meant to be. But these next two sales were a lot better. Check out this Borussia Dortmund shirt here. That looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Generally, it's in pretty good condition. Most of the stickers are, in, are, are there, and I say are there, because you can see the two stars, Oh, there should be two stars above the badge. Obviously, they are not there. Everything else about it, though, spotless. And that has sold for £20 all in. And another football jersey. We've sold a Cardiff City one. And this is from the 2013 season. This one is in perfect condition. And this was when they were in the Premier League because it's got the Premier League badges on both the sleeves. See, there we go there. And this one has sold for £20 all in as well. Uh, size large. It hasn't gone to anyone in Cardiff. Actually, it's not even gone to anyone in Wales. This has gone to someone in England. So there must be some Cardiff City fans across the border. All right, we've sold a Disney Infinity little set. So I bundled together Gamora and Star-Lord. 
they're both off Guardians of the Galaxy. And we've also got a crystal somewhere, there it is. A little crystal there of a spaceship. Those three went for seven pounds plus postage. Now these were an absolute fail. I picked up a big box of random animals. Uh, they had a really interesting symbol. They had the, the three A's that looked like a triangle. I was intrigued, picked them up, found out they were early learning center. You might be able to see the A's on there, see there? Uh, I paid eight pounds for the whole box. And these were the only half decent ones. That bag is sold for 11 pounds plus postage. Made my money back, good learning experience, avoid them. Now I never thought this day would come. We are actually into profit on the Eagle Moss Marvel figures because I sold these five to the same person. We have got Blink, Nighthawk, Tigra, Banshee and Jocasta. And those five have gone for £25 all in. And the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Jigsaw has sold. Just try and slide it out there. I paid four pounds for this in the charity shop and we completed it to make sure all the pieces were there. And this one has sold for £23.50 plus postage. And that's going over to Germany on the global shipping program. And to wrap up the sales, we have sold Miss Piggy and Kermit for £12 plus postage. So Sunday morning was Sully Boot Sale, the biggest car boot sale in South Wales. I went there last week and had a little bit of luck, but I did get there pretty late. So I decided to get there a lot earlier and I arrived at 10 to 7 to try and pick some bargains up. But you know what? I probably wasn't even early enough then. Um, it's open to buyers at 7 o'clock, but people had been there way before. And I know that because I bumped into a few resellers there this week and they come up to me and said hello. So it was great for you guys. And thanks for coming to say hello. It's always great to chat. And yeah, some of the stuff that the guys were picking up were just fantastic. In fact, at 10 to 7, some people had already been round and filled up two or three bagfuls of stuff already. Um, so yeah, there was that, that just encouraged me that there was stuff for me to find. Although there were a fair few resellers there doing exactly the same as me. But never mind, because I still found some stuff. And what I said last video about boot sales is I do like to get my first purchase in early. Break the ice, get used to spending money, get used to bartering. And it generally just wakes you up a little bit as well. And I did that with these. A nice, just average looking pair of Adidas trainers. You know, pretty nondescript. They would probably be a 10, 12 pounds plus postage sale and I bought them for three quid, but I did not check the condition. I was sleepy, I was not thinking, and look at that. What a waste of time. Hang on then, just throw it out, there. out of the garage, gone. No place in here. So I thought, oh no, here we go. What, 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 what am I doing here? What am I doing? But my luck changed, because the next door, there was um, a lady and her son, and her son was selling off his old rugby boots or football boots. So he sold me these pair of Adidas rugby boots, great condition, size seven, and also these blackout Nike football boots here. They are, they're also size seven, I think. Maybe six and a half and seven. I can't remember. But I got those for three pounds each, and those should be solid sellers. You know, I'm, I'll be looking at 12 to 15 pounds plus postage, not research them, they might even be worth more. So, I've already bought three pairs of shoes by now, and I've already got, I've got two big bags of shoes up there. I was thinking, right, I don't really want shoes. My, my aim was to try and find Transformers, because I'm into my Transformers at the minute. And I did find some rescue bots. So, yeah, kind of the children's Transformers. But this one's pretty cool. This one transforms into a dinosaur. It's a bit stiff, hang on a minute. There you go. Transforms into a T-Rex. Paid two pounds for that one. I uh, haven't looked at solds, but I'd imagine it'll be about 10 plus postage. And I also found a couple of rescue bots. We have got Bumblebee there. These, these are really straightforward. Flip them and then they change like that. He cost, what, two pounds? And I got this um, Ultra Magnus, or maybe the blue Optimus Prime here. Let's see if I can do him. Looking at backwards, there we go. He costs a pound. So all in all, that'll probably go for a tenner, let's say five or each maybe. So yeah, not too bad. We then found, oh, there's a lady selling some old toys. And I found this. You can hardly call it boxed because it is not boxed. 
but it's brand new it's never been used it's got all the pieces that only cost a pound um i have sold some tech deck stuff before that's not a particularly great board design there not a particularly good brand on the board don't know what that'll go for but for a pound i was gonna get it i was feeling generous and it's great to see tech deck in it um and then more shoes a couple more shoes found these preds these are these don't have laces but you know me if i see predators i'm buying these cost two pounds these are a smaller size these are size i'm looking but there we go they might not be smaller actually they they do look a bit they look okay no they are size five and a half i knew they were smaller and they only cost two pounds um resale value for those is going to be about 15 pounds plus postage um and then i found an incredible hulk put batteries in the back of him squeeze his belly and he speaks i put batteries in when i got home doesn't work um maybe my batteries were dead i'm going to try a few more sets of batteries this type of thing or this type of toy is really really robust so i'm surprised it's not working i'll try and fix that haven't looked at solds but it's worth more than two quid um Jan van Hasteren jigsaw thousand piece Christmas scene paid a pound for that one we'll do this ourselves and that will sell at Christmas for I'd imagine 10 pounds plus postage and then I'm fully warmed up by now I'm, I'm well in the swing of the boot sale we've been there for about half hour and then I come across this store here or a guy behind a store selling these here you know what I mean and basically we've got five model kits of various boats and these are all pretty old and he was telling me he bought a big auction of stuff in the auction house and this came with it and he didn't really want them or know what to do with them so you know that's the type of thing spanish galleon i think there's a mayflower in here santa maria um flying cloud yeah there it is a mayflower there so he wanted two pounds each for them so i said well what if i buy all five he said i could have eight pounds for those so i bought them um as you can imagine there aren't many up on ebay um, there are some people in France trying to sell them, or France or Spain, can't remember, and they're asking for about 15 quid plus postage each. Now, because I'm only two quid in, I, I could try for 15, but if I got if I got 10 pound each plus postage, I'd be happy with that. So that was a nice little find. Um, all of them are still in their sealed bags with instructions as well, so I'm confident they're all there. Uh, we then have another pair of shoes. Check those out. These cost me three quid. They're pretty, well, they look retro. I don't know if they are retro. They are UK size five, so good ladies size. Solid, aren't they? Um, ah, I then bumped into another reseller. His name is Chris. Um, so Chris, thanks for saying hi, because he was telling me about these. These Simon Airs. I think it's Simon Air. Yeah, and he said that these usually sell pretty well. So I come across this a couple of stores later, and I paid 50p for it. So, I don't know, what's I going to go for? Six, seven pounds plus postage? Maybe, maybe a bit more closer to Christmas. So yeah, that was a great little tip. So thank you for that one. Um, another pair of shoes. Adidas ones, these look pretty much brand new. Uh, paid two pounds for these. They'll go for, what, 12, 13 pounds plus postage. Size sevens. Uh, another pair of shoes. I'm not meant to be buying shoes, but I bought these. Some little superstars. Little children's size superstars. Cool red laces. They were only pound fifty. Don't know what they'll go for, but they're superstars. Right. I'm, I, I'm not going to show you any more shoes. No, I'm not. I'm going to show you no more shoes. Because I found this box of lightsabers. And I've sold these before. Because these are the ones that you clip together to make various different... What, what, whatever style lightsaber you want. It's got this spinny thing here. Where you can spin around. So I've got two of the little green ones, a red thing, a blue one. There's there's a few in there. And I paid five pounds for the box. So that's worth more than a five there. In there. They've got to be in there. Haven't tested them more. I've tested the green ones, they work. Haven't tested the other ones. But yeah, I thought that was a solid bet. And then I found the Transformers I was looking for. Whenever I see Transformers in the boot set or charity shop, I, I I do pick them up. I don't care what they are, I pick them up. And I found these two Optimus Primes. These are the ones, right, where you can pull down the bit in the middle. And, bear with me. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, this one isn't complete. You know, some of his tyres are missing. One of the bits on the back here is snapped off and I don't have it. And this one looks more complete, but the sound bit doesn't work. 
I paid five pounds each, which is probably too much. But these are gonna go up on my shelf for display anyway, and I could sell those together easily for a tenner plus postage. Um, so my money's safe for them. I'm, I'm never gonna lose any money, and they just look awesome. So that was it, my Transformers finds were done for the day. I didn't find any more Transformers, but I found an old school troll and I got that troll for 20p. No resale value, but I will put that in the bag ready for another trade with the toy shop because he was taking in these old trolls. And then I was pretty much about to leave. I come across a couple of wrestling figures that just caught my eye. Got an old school rock from 2000 and this horn swaggle, paid two quid each for them paid way over the odds that one to go for about four or five quid plus postage so the rock's free um right anyway i was about to leave and there was a guy setting up a store this was getting on now this would have been this would have been about nine ish nine o'clock so it is getting on in it for a boot sale that starts at seven and he brought out a folder and i'll tell you what that folder was in a bit but on top of the folder he put this box of match attacks now I do generally pick up match attacks. Um, they, they don't cost too much. That whole box costs two quid. Hey, look, a few people have asked me about these before. They're not really worth much at the minute yet. And I say yet because who knows what the future is going to bring with football cards. Who could have predicted the massive um, cost increase of football stickers that we've seen? So match attacks might do that in the future. For two quid, I'm going to just gamble on that, aren't I? But... Actually, as well, there are some that are worth some money. There aren't many, but there are some. And luckily, in this box, I had two of these Haaland cards. Now, he's in his Salzburg kit, so they are alternative rookies. And bearing in mind that the Haaland sticker, his first sticker, was selling for about four to five hundred pounds, these got a lot of future potential. So, current value is about ten pounds each. But I'm going to keep them because in the future I think it's good they're going to be worth more. So as a gamble, two pound for the box. Those two have made the gamble pay off, and I was not expecting it at all. But the main reason I bought them right was because of the folder underneath, and I'll explain why. Um, I found this: a Disney World of Postage stamps. Now I don't know anything about stamps. Now I know some stamps can be worth a lot of money, um, and some aren't. You know, that's just the way it is, isn't it? Um, uh, but it's something I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not keen to get in. I'm not keen to get into stamps. Um, but if if I see something like this, it's got Donald Duck on and it. it's good brand. And inside there are, well, I'm not going to hold it up because I'll end up just tipping them out. There are a fair few of them. You know, we've got lots from different countries. Peter Pan ones, some Disney well, they are, of course they're Disney. We've got um, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck. And these, you know, they are the larger stamp or the larger portrait with a little stamp in them. So we've got a few sheets like that. And then we've got lots of smaller stamps as well. And most of these are from like the Caribbean islands. You know, a little sheet there. This, there's tons in here. These are all just stacked up behind. There's some of the African countries as well. Um, yeah, just really, really nice. And all of them, Disney. A um, couple there in little things. Now, I've looked at a few of them on eBay. And individually, you could sell them for about a pound each. So I'm not going to bother doing that. I'll either keep them for the future or sell them as one big job lot. And it's, as well as that, it's got all the inserts that go into the folder. Now, you wanted £20 for it. And I was thinking, is, is it worth twenty pounds? Probably is, um, but my like boot sale and reseller logic come in. I said to him, okay, um, I, I don't really want to give twenty pounds um, because I said to him because I bought these for two pounds. Would you sell those stamps for fifteen pounds? And he did. So rather than I, I, I would have probably spent twenty quid on that. So actually, buying those for two quid has saved me three quid that's it, just it's just it's the log the boot sale logic you get into just random deals like that and actually the folder alone is going to be worth 15 to 20 pounds plus postage don't know what those stamps will be worth some of them if it was all complete you're looking into the hundreds um you know the, this isn't a complete set by any means but there'd be enough there to get a few people interested hopefully might even auction it i'd imagine this will go gsp to america 
who knows um but yeah i think that, that is a pretty cool find so we started off the video with domino rally which is a nice nostalgic pickup and probably my favorite pickup of the whole video and maybe finished on the most interesting let me know in the comments below which one of the items I picked up you think was the most interesting. Anyway, but guys, anyway, thanks for ever so much for watching. Thanks for watching part one and part two. Now, this next weekend, I won't be going to any boot sales um, because I'm going over to see some family. But I will be back at them in two weeks time. So, yeah, next video will probably be all sales, maybe a few charity shop pickups. Either way, hit that bell notification because then you will know when it comes out. Otherwise, hit that like, hit that subscribe and I'll catch up with you in the next one. See you guys. Bye-bye.